Originally bred as scent hounds, the Beagle is a well-known breed that has plenty of energy, is highly intelligent and is incredibly fun-loving. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the cost of getting and caring for your dog so that you can be prepared for a happy life with your canine. Welcome back to the Fenrir Beagle Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at Fenrir Canine Leaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Beagle, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Beagle. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Beagle upload. Firstly, just to clarify, none of the products that may get a mention in this video have been sponsored. They are the products that we at Fenrir have tried and tested and feel confident in being some of the best out there for you and your puppy. Getting a puppy involves a lot of different costs, ones that are upfront and maybe a one-off and others that are ongoing like vet bills and food. It's super important to be aware of this before jumping in and buying a dog as you may be prepared for the upfront costs but not the ongoing costs throughout your dog's life. So many dogs end up in rescue shelters because their owners not being able to care for them due to the cost of maintaining them and giving them a happy healthy life which is why it's so important that you do a load of research into the costs of things before you get your puppy. Right let's dive in and find out what it is you need to keep in mind when buying your dog. So of course the initial spending will be pretty high with buying your puppy and getting your puppy home. This may involve having to put a fence up in your garden which can be pretty costly but important for your dog to have a place to run around without the risk of getting out of the garden. It needs to be safe and secure. The actual cost of a beagle can vary, but you are going to need to make sure you're getting your dog from a reputable breeder that also isn't ripping you off. We have loads of videos to help you find the best breeder, so be sure to have a look through our channels. The average cost of a beagle puppy can vary on your location, but in the US, the average cost of a puppy is around $1,000, give or take. Now, alongside puppy proofing your home, these upfront costs can add up, especially with this breed being a purebred pedigree dog. In the UK, you'd pay around £900 for a well-bred pedigree puppy. Then we have the pet insurance. Insurance is incredibly important when it comes to the costs, as if your dog ever needs to have any expensive treatments or surgeries, without insurance, the money Will pile up. You will have to pay monthly for insurance, which could be a basic cover, which would be around half the price of a lifetime policy, which is around $55. When the insurance company calculate a pet's premium, they'll factor in a variety of things, including where you live, the dog's age, and whether they've had been neutered or spayed. So the price can really vary. However, I highly recommend investing in an insurance that's high quality and reliable. Your dog deserves the best care. Depending on the breed of the dog that you have, the feeding can vary. The breeder may also have recommendations for you, so do not be afraid to ask. They will be happy to answer questions about anything regarding your puppy. They are after the best for their pups. There are many different foods and diet types that you can give your puppy, but what we recommend is a high quality and grain free food that is high in required nutrients that your dog needs and keeps them happy and healthy. Again, it's important to research into this before getting your dog and to understand how feeding a puppy is different to feeding an adult dog. Your puppy will eat more regularly than an adult dog. Most adult dogs will have two meals a day, whereas puppies tend to have a few spreads throughout the day. It's essential you read packaging carefully and give your puppy the recommended amounts for their size and age. On average, food will cost from around $50 to $80 a month. On top of this, you need to factor in your dog's initial vaccinations, their annual booster vaccines, the cost of neutering and spaying them, and when the time is right, also their yearly health checkups. This all adds up over a year to at least $1,000 a year. Keeping and caring for your dog could be up to $150 a month, depending on the insurance you choose to go for and the food you buy. You also need to consider the cost of training. We highly recommend taking your dog to puppy classes or signing up for a specific training program. It's a good idea to get a puppy course which takes you from day one of having your puppy 
all the way to the end of the first year. We recommend a step-by-step -step training program which will help you become a calm and consistent canine leader with a perfect canine companion by your side to look for you for guidance. Dogs are intelligent animals and pick up and learn new behaviours quickly. We all want these behaviours to be positive and not any bad habits that develop further into major behavioural issues which becomes that bit more difficult to train when your dog is getting to be an adult dog. You can start with a small crate for your puppy or you can buy one that will fit them when they're an adult dog but you may need to use dividers otherwise toilet training is not really possible as your pup may use one end of the crate to sleep and the other to do their business. This will also cost you so you need to factor this in. Also you'll need to get your pup a bed. For your puppy we recommend from experience that you get a bed which is comfortable for them but sturdy and well built because puppies chew. Due to teething mostly, your puppy will want to chew and having a bed which is reliable and well built can reduce the chances of you having to keep buying them a new bed after they chewed the last one to pieces. Be sure to get a bed that's size relevant to your dog. Some great companies are Scruffs and Tuffies for beds. Tuffies do a travel bed which is very good for large breeds as you can use it as a bed that grows with your dog due to the ability to extend it. Plus it's very helpful for traveling. When looking for a bed for your pup, you should look for excellent quality and comfort which can be found at an affordable price. Toy and training aids are the next thing you'll need to sort for your puppy's arrival. Certain toys can be really great for teething, training, redirecting them from chewing furniture and also providing mental stimulation as a whole. The Kong standard is a must have for all dog owners and is an excellent sturdy quality toy that can be great for combating separation anxiety and feeding food. The toys that are a bit more expensive will be higher quality and this means they last much longer than cheaper toys due to the materials they're made from. Plus you'll need to get grooming products for your dog alongside leads and collars. I highly recommend going through this channel and watching previous videos to find out even more about your new puppy and the breed in general. The cost of having and maintaining your dog can really add up so be sure you're prepared for this. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Beagle videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Beagle Show.